Hey everyone, you're here with Mark Batwa at PerfectGardens.com. So today I'm here to talk about one product that I use almost every single day in my grow room. So let's go ahead and open it up and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is a stapler gun, which is absolutely phenomenal. When you order the box, you're gonna have your stapler gun and your staples. I'm gonna recommend you also order an extra roll of tape because this will not come with the order. I would probably recommend you actually get two of these. And if you have the extra money, a few extra bucks, probably get a full case so you don't run out of staples. First but not least, you're gonna go ahead and open it up. If you're curious about what this product's called, it's called Grow One Tie Tapes. They will come with a roll of five in each pack. Okay, so before you get started, remember that there is an extra blade underneath the cover and that this part right here closes and opens. So you're going, it's as simple as that, just make sure to pinch and it opens it up and when you're closing it, sometimes this gets a little caught. So just push this side down, go in and it'll close it just fine. So the first step on loading this gun is to put in your green tape. So first step what you're going to do is make sure you put your tape in and you run a little bit of tape forward. Next you're going to go ahead and close the cover and then you're going to go ahead and close this one as well. That's going to keep the tape in place while you load it. Next if your staple gun is unhooked just make sure to hook it underneath here. You're going to turn this around and you're just going to feed this through here. As you open and close this, this little lever right here will open and close and what you want to this to do is you want this lever to pinch this tape and sometimes it takes a couple times until it catches. So as you can see right here, I'm catching it. Okay, I set it. Did I catch it? Perfect. Remember, this gun is incredibly important if you have a large farm. Every employee should have this gun on their purse while they're working through your garden to help put up stems or other things that might be laying over. You just don't want it to be loose and your stem end up breaking because someone walks by and before you know it, you have injured plants and your return on investment is much lower. Obviously, when you're growing tomatoes or potatoes or corn, that might not be a big deal, but when you're growing higher valued items like cannabis or hemp, you definitely don't want your plants to be injured because that might be a few hundred dollars. Okay, so the next step is to make sure you put your staples in with the teeth going up, just like that. You're gonna load them in. Grab your spring and you're good to go next I'm going to go ahead and grab one of my stakes and so if you can imagine the, the stake being the support and my finger being the branch all I'm going to do is come over close it off and now my plant supported if this gets behind or doesn't close, no big deal. Just reclose it and open it back up. Let's go ahead into the garden so I can go ahead and show you a live example. I'm gonna go ahead and use my lens from the potato plants because they're nice and long and they're kind of drooping in my walkway. So this is a great example where I may use some stakes. This brand right here from Grow One is actually the ones I love to use. They're the heavy duty plastic versus the bamboo stakes. The bamboo stakes over time kind of get a little fibrous, they'll break, but these over time, they'll stay with you year after year. And for me, I'm, I'm a lifetime gardener, so I definitely want to purchase something one time and keep reusing it. Also, next is the vinyl line. I love having at least the five by 15 foot package. It's, it's less than 10 bucks. And I'm gonna show you the second technique I use using this product, because when I'm growing plants, as you can see like this, that are in a straight row and, and a lot of limbs are following in the center. When I'm walking through in the early morning, 
sometimes my clothes catches on to the fur on these leaves and before you know it I have accidentally caused some trauma to my plants by breaking one of the limbs. I actually like to use the vine line plastic material, the trellis netting versus the cloth material because the cloth material holds moisture and may end up causing mold on other plants like cannabis or any plants that have an herb that can mold more easily. For right now I'm going to show you both techniques starting with the bamboo. So I grabbed two of them. Obviously these are my potato plants. It would be more ideal using them if I had my tomato plants. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the side right here. Next, same thing. Now they're propped up. I'm just going to go ahead and once again put the support stake, go around. One more time. And now I have my limbs supported up with a couple of bamboo stakes. This is ideal if I have a few plants or even if I have a lot of plants growing in my grow room, this staple gun will go a long way on speeding up the process on any limbs that are in my pathway and getting them out of the pathway. Next I'm going to go ahead and set up the trellis net and show you how quick I am able to use the trellis net to support all the limbs. And I love actually using the trellis net when I'm growing in large scale cannabis because as the limbs grow up, they actually grow into the trellis net and before you know it, they are growing up and as they put on more weight, they're falling outward and the trellis net is actually organically holding them up. If I need the trellis net to come into the center and the flowers to come more in, I just pull the trellis net in the center with my staple gun and before you know it, it's actually pulled all the flowers and I've opened up my pathway so on a day in and day out basis, I'm not damaging my plants. So let me go ahead and show you this. Wait, what are you buying retail for? Become a member and go direct to the manufacturer as low as $50 a month. Learn more below.